I put you on hold. Working together with him at 
every year to which the amount of tears we carry for God in him. For he says, In a favorable time I listen to you, and in a day of affliction I have helped you. Behold, now is a favorable time. He will now to his salvation. We could not also in any his way, so that no fault may be found in our ministry. But his afflictions, hardships, but as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way by great endurance, and afflictions, hardships, our ladies, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, the Holy Spirit, genuine love, by truthful speech, and the power of God, through delivering the righteousness of the right hand of the law, through honor and dishonor, through slander and grace. We are treated as impostors, and yet are treated as unknown, and yet well known, as dying and behold who live. Punished and yet not killed, but sorrowful, yet always rejoicing as poor, yet making many virgins, and when no one yet does an empty. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Holy God, holy and most merciful Father, have mercy upon us. We have lived as though you do not matter and as if we mattered the most. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have failed to love our neighbor as ourselves. The Lord has heard your cry for mercy. The Lord accepts your prayer. As a called and ordained servant of the word, I announce the grace of God unto all of you. Therefore, in the stead and by the command of our Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God. You spoke to Adam and Eve in the garden and said, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Your people of ancient times wore sackcloth and ashes as a sign of repentance. We remember our sinfulness to the ashes and remember the gracious gift of forgiveness to the cross of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Taking your stickers out now, would you please put them on your forehead? Or fix them anywhere on your person you are comfortable. Once you have received your stickers and you put them on, please stand so I know that you've been able to put them on. And Mike, would you go back one slide? I want us to say that statement all. I know that's not what the service says, but that one? There is, yeah, the one at the bottom. You guys see there where it says in quotes, you are just, and thus you shall return. I'd like us all to say that together. That's perfect, I think. All together, from the dust you came, to the dust you shall return. The Holy God of the Wedding of St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. But when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. And your and father, your father who sees in secret, secret, will reward you. And you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, 
they have received their reward. But when you go, pray into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated for our gifts. How great the cross. <laughs> Right? What do I have in this cup? 
he is used for such good things. And you guys are God's good things. God saw how much he loved you guys, yes, even you annoying ones. But he saw all of you and said, I love you so much. Even the ones who don't believe in me, I think you're worth dying for. And through the cross, through what Jesus has done, through the waters of baptism, you have new life. And not just new life here on earth, but where do we actually live? In heaven. We have access to heaven because of some crazy simple things. And the power of God. So as we go through like the next few weeks, we're going to have some really cool stuff up on the screens and some stuff about the water. But just remember, just like water has been used, God's using us too to help spread His word, to help spread who He is and what He's done for us. So I think that's pretty awesome and stuff. I hope you guys do too. Would you guys pray with me real quick? Let's go back to me. Let's put our hands and if you guys will repeat that for me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your gift of the cross and for your gifts in baptism. We ask, Lord, that you continue to work on our hearts, that something so simple as ashes and water can be so meaningful. Your love is the same. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. Having heard the words of God's grace and Mr. Yurt's devotion, we rise to confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Christians, what do you believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died in spirit. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. O oh Lord, we thank you for calling us to return to you. Oh Lord, through Christ you reconciled us to yourself and have given us the ministry of reconciliation. Oh Lord, you have freely rewarded us with the gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation. You may be seated. I would like to invite the elder on you to read the words and offerings of the congregation. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times, in all places, give thanks to you, Holy 
Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who overcame the assault of the devil and gave his life as a ransom for many, that with cleansed hearts we might be prepared joyfully to celebrate the Paschal feast in sincerity and truth. Therefore, with archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name forever. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our friends amongst us today that are joining us for communion, would you be so kind as to hold your communion cards up for me, please? Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he gave thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in the remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sin. This do as often as you drink it in the remembrance of me. Take and eat the body of Christ given for you. Take and drink the blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in body and soul to life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Almighty God, for calling us to return to you, reconciling us through the sacrifice of your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, and rewarding us with forgiveness life, salvation, and your continual presence. Thank you for nourishing our bodies and souls with your Son's body of blood that was given and shed for us. Empower us by your Holy 